Wow! Arguably one of the best comic book movies of 2016, and Hot Toys has a 1-6 scale. That's right. Deadpool. Review coming next on The Collecting Culture. theatrical release of Deadpool on February 12, 2016, directed by Tim Miller and starring Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, we knew it was just a matter of time before Hot Toys and Sideshows teamed up to bring us this beautiful 1-6 scale collectible figure. So enough about the movie, it's time for the unboxing. Here we go. This is the Deadpool 1-6 scale collectible figure. So please don't uh, comment on the posing. I just have him standing up so we can take a look here at it. I'm just going to pull the camera around so you can just kind of see starting from the bottom and working my way up. And we got two guns there, one on each side. We have his mask here. And what I like about the mask too is just how on the back kind of has the little lip there coming off with the fabric. You can see all the details there. You can even see the details of his ears. And the wrinkles and the creases coming down through his neck and then just the leather that they have there. I'm kind of pull it around here so you can see the front. Let's look at the attention to detail with the battle wounds here, uh, the scrapes, the scratches, the wore out look of the leather. He does come with some his guns and two swords and his knife there. And we'll go ahead and show you that. It just pulls right out. There we go. So it does come with his knife right here on the side, and you can just kind of pull that out. Take a look at it. Check it out. And it's very detailed. And it's actually it's got some weight to it. And it's actually got, it's pretty sharp. So I'm just going to set that right here to the side. Here are the katana blades that it comes with, along with the, um, the actual sheath that's magnetic here. I'm just going to kind of show you. On the back, this is just a magnet. It simply just attaches to the back of Deadpool, and uh, we'll show you that in a second. But here are the blades itself. They do have some weight on it, and you can see that it does have that stainless steel look there. It's got a nice little point on the end of it. It's pretty sharp. Um, it's actually pretty impressive. So there's two of these. Here's some detail you have here on the hilt or the handle itself. Let's see if I can get that for you. Just like that. And then the other two weapons that it comes with are the pistols here so i'm just going to kind of pull it in just to show you and the cool thing the really cool thing that i like especially with hot toys and sideshow are the detail the attention to detail as i've said before so even the gun can cock and you even have the bullet right inside the chamber ready to go i'm trying to get that where we can see it there so that's pretty cool and then that just if i can do it slides right back in place just like that these are very light and there's no weight to these at all they feel almost fragile so just if you're positioning them in uh, his hands just be very careful to not um, maybe, maybe break the handle or whatnot but here's a better look close up at the pistols nothing really fancy he's got a lot of detail even though these guys are pretty small and then again here are the two blades with the actual sheath here that attaches to his back Okay, so here is the Deadpool with the katana blades in his hands just to kind of show you how they position there and how they look. And again, this is the sheath and there's the magnetic in there and it pretty much, if I can do this with one hand, just pops right on. You can see how it pulled him right towards it and then there it is. So, just to kind of show you just like that. There you have it. So with the ability to change the facial expressions on the mask, Hot Toys provided you with this magnet here that's even got the resemblance of the Deadpool mask there on the end of it. 
And these right here are what you just touch the magnet to. It simply just pulls right off. You can see just like that how easy it is to pull off. You can just do it with, obviously with one hand. So you can just put it right back on. And if you're going to, you can just display it like that. <laughs> but, All right, guys. So as I mentioned earlier, here are the four other type of eye uh, positions you do have for the masks. These can be simply removed using the magnetic tool just like I showed you earlier and put it in put the new ones in to uh, show different facial expressions through the eyes alright so just like the eyes they offer they do offer quite a variety of hand positions as well so you have everything over here from the thumbs up to the uh, okay to the closed fist to the pistol grip uh, open hand closed hand and just a, a variety of hand positions that you're also able to use to pull off different positions and uh, able to display your figure just about any way you would like really show some character and personality okay everyone thank you so much for checking out this video and I really hope you enjoyed it uh, again this is probably one of my favorite if not my favorite uh, hot toys or sideshow collectible out, out of my entire collection uh, by far one of the best when it comes to detail when it comes to quality um, it's just 10 out of 10 I would I would give this um, if you're a big Deadpool fan, if you're just getting into it, if you're just getting into collecting 1-6 scale, this is an easy 10 out of 10. And Hot Toys really shows you the way that it's supposed to be done here with this awesome collectible. Um, it's definitely one that you need in your collection. If you're thinking about getting it, I say do it. You'll be very, very happy you did. So again, I'm Beast Dog. This is The Collecting Culture. Thank you for checking out this video. Please subscribe. Uh, keep up to date. Check out our other videos, leave any comments, any questions you have, and uh, we'll get to you. And we look forward to the next video. Thanks, and keep on collecting. Oh, hi. You're still here? It's over.